Caitlin Clark said things that made basketball fans like her even more. In addition to raising the league's status and setting new standards for competition, she stays calm all the time and never loses her cool. I'm pretty sure the only people that view this as a rivalry is all of you. Like, for us, like, it's just a, a game of basketball. Like, that's what it is. And if it's going to help move the game forward, absolutely. Like, that's amazing. That's what it should be. Like, people can talk about it. Um. Even though their recent fights on the court have gotten a lot of attention, the Indiana Fever star says she and Reese are not rivals. In agreement, she says that the attention is good for the sport. Tickets for Sunday's game between the Fever and the Sky started at $230 on StubHub on Friday night. It will be the third meeting between the two best teams in the league. Clark asked why Sunday's game is at a bigger venue after State Farm Arena drew 177,000 people to watch Indiana beat the Atlanta Dream for the fourth time in a row. I saw the ticket prices, she said, referring to the high demand from her fans. I just don't understand why we aren't playing at the United Center. Then she said she didn't know that that night a rapper was going to be performing there. She has the ball, but first and foremost, she's great at passing. Look, she sees the play even though she's ahead of it. All eyes are attracted to her as a rookie. She finds Aaliyah Boston for an easy look. Again, she can assist, but look, there are double screens here. Katie Lou is a freaking shooter, and she's still just turning around to give her a shot. That's 33. They both joined the WNBA this year, as expected, and as top draft picks, a rivalry started to form between them. Amazing athletes, even Ric Flair likes them. Deleted tweets that seem to be about Clark. Reese may have a problem with the former Iowa star. Whatever they say on Twitter, these two have gotten a lot of attention from the media. However, Clark wishes that every everyone would stop talking about their rivalry. A reporter asked Clark about the rumored feud between her and Angel Reese before the Fever vs. Chicago Sky game this past weekend. The question didn't seem to make her happy, and who could blame her? She's probably sick of hearing about Angel Reese. I'm pretty sure the only people who see this as a rivalry are all of you. She said to dispel the rivalry myth. It's just a basketball game to us. She also said that she was glad that both players had gotten fans excited, but she thought the Fever vs. Sky game would be held in a bigger building, like some of the earlier Fever games this season. I thought that would have been great for the game and all the women's basketball fans in Chicago. The rookie star gushed. There could be a problem that I don't know about. Of course, that's a bit above my pay grade. In addition, she said that the last two games lived up to promises and gave fans some amazing basketball to watch. But here's the most interesting turn in the story. As of the first round of voting for the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game, it looks like Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese will likely play together for the first time in their careers at this annual game. Clark came in second, just behind Asia Wilson, in terms of votes cast, while Reese got the seventh spot in the poll released on Friday. Their vote totals make them strong candidates to be picked for the WNBA team at the All-Star Game, which will also include players named to the U.S. Olympic team. Team USA's first Olympic game against Japan is on July 20th, 2024, which is just nine days before the WNBA All-Star Game. Any pair of Clark and Reese at the WNBA All-Star Game would be very interesting to watch. Before this weekend, when the Indiana Fever and Chicago Sky play, they played each other twice in the NCAA tournament with Iowa and LSU, respectively. It will be their third meeting in a month. People think of these basketball stars as bitter rivals, but they have always said nice things about each other during interviews. Whenever they play against each other on the court, it's clear that they are fierce competitors. Of course, a lot of fans will love seeing them play against some of the best athletes in the world. In Phoenix, the All-Star Game will be held at Footprint Center, which is also home to the Mercury during the regular season. Clark recently explained again why people are looking forward to a rivalry with Reese, the emotion and fire they bring to their play. That may not always have been recognized in women's sports, but it should be, she said. That's what makes it enjoyable. Players who are going to the Olympics will still be on the list for the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game, but their votes won't change their status. They'll still be included on Team USA. People who got the most votes and are also on Team USA will make up the first 10 players on Team WNBA. The WNBA head coaches will fill the last few spots on the All-Star team. Clark's college friend Kate Martin, who is a rookie with the Las Vegas Aces, is also likely to make it to the All-Star Game. Martin has quickly made friends in her new city, even though she has 
has only started one game this year and only scored 4.2 points per game on average. One interesting fact is that fan votes make up half of the final choice, while star and media votes each make up 25%. On July 3rd, before Sunday's game between the Indiana Fever and the Chicago Sky, their third professional meeting since their college rivalry, the official all-star teams will be revealed. Clark said, There are a lot of hypotheticals when asked about the idea of working together with Reese. I think we would both say that playing basketball is our main goal. That would be great if it works out for both of us. It would be enjoyable. There was no previous game between us. Maintaining her modesty and speaking carefully, Clark didn't brag about possible choices or more votes. Her comment was, I guess I'm not completely clear on how the All-Star team is chosen. It's my first time in the league. Fans' choices are one of the factors, but there are others as well. There are other factors besides fan votes. She said, if that were to happen, I'm sure people would appreciate it, referring to her good season. Clark's stats say a lot about her and could get her on any team in the world. She has an average of 16.2 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 6.2 assists per game. If she keeps up this pace, she will become only the fourth player in NBA history to average at least 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists in a season. She leads all rookies in scoring, assists, and 3-pointers made among all players she is fourth in assists and third in three-pointers made. Reese, on the other hand, has set a new rookie mark by having seven straight double-doubles. He averages 12.4 points, 10.8 rebounds, and 1.9 steals per game. The rookie from LSU is the league leader in offensive boards by 20. She also leads all rookies in steals. All right, let's talk okay. about it. Cha -cha. The Caitlin wow. Clark and Angel Reese effect is real. According to Vivid Seats, the average ticket price for today's game is $300. $51. Can I borrow some dollars? Hello? That is the highest average ticket price for a WNBA game since 2015. In fact, Clark's tough competition off the game is a big plus for the WNBA. Their most recent game on June 16th drew an average of 2.22 million people and a high of almost 3 million. It aired on CBS. More people watched it than any other WNBA game in 23 years, and more people streamed it than any other WNBA game ever. And just a few days ago, Reese committed a clear foul against Clark, which caused a lot of talk over the next few days. Clark, the WNBA's first pick, also played down the incident, even though she ended up on the floor after trying to make a shot. Reese tried to swipe at Clark's hand, but she hit her opponent in the head instead of the ball. After being called a common foul at first, the play was looked at again and was changed to a major foul. Reese replied in the way she always does, by being blunt with the judges. I think it's just the emotion and passion that we play with, Clark said, showing great sportsmanship. That's something that probably hasn't always been valued in women's sports, but it should be. That's what I discovered enjoyable. The game should have rivals. Therefore, we are competitors. While things may get heated and rough, both teams are only looking to win in the end. Clark is such a great example for the WNBA. They lucked out picking the perfect person.